So, you're tired of doing instances for a tiny chance of getting a mount? Well, you came to the right place. We're gonna show you how to get the Glory of the Dragon Soul Raider achievement for a guaranteed mount. Let's go! Go to Dragon Soul, located here! To complete the Glory of the Dragon Soul Raider, you need to play on Heroic. You can play on 10 or 25 man, it's up to you. For simplicity, we're gonna go with 10 man Heroic. Walk up the Morchok. When he splits, just focus damage on one of them until he's dead. Cakewalk. Loot. Get into the temple. Take the dragon to the left for a dragon taxi. Once down the hole, make sashimi with the tentacles before aggroing the boss. Wait for Warlord Zanas to puke up a purple ball. Stand in this putrid pretessence and don't let it out of your sight as it moves around. Follow it wherever it goes until the Warlord has 10 stacks. Now, lure Sonos into the ball without you in it. Once this happens, Sonos goes into the second phase. Kill his hulking ass. Loot! Get back to the temple. Take the dragon to the right. Attack the boss and AoE the ads. Don't kill him yet. After a while, he starts chanting, summoning multicolored slimes. Don't attack the blobs. Let them get to him. Make sure you can soak up some damage and wait for RNG gods to bless you with the right combinations. Just open the achievement tab and see what combinations you've unlocked, and wait until you shake them all off the list. This will take a while. Now squish that squid face. Loot! Get back to the temple. Take the dragon in the middle. Fly up to the top and enjoy some RP. Talk to Calicos and jump into the portal. Click the orb and kill some ants. After several rounds of this, the boss will appear. Now, here's where it starts getting tricky, so pay attention. In order to get this achievement, you have to have a pet. If you don't have a pet, bring a friend or switch characters to play one of your pet classes. The achievement you get from here is shared with the meta achievement, so no worries who you do it on. Get your hunter, warlock, or frost mage and create a link of electricity with your pet to connect the pillars like this. Keep doing this with other pillars. You have about five minutes to do this, so don't feel too stressed if you fumble a few times. Once you get the achievement, she'll jump down and you can tear into that bitch. Loot! Enjoy some more RP with Caligos. Then speak to Thrall to start the Ultraxian event. Kill some dragons. Once you've killed them, Ultraxian shows up to the party. Make sure you have the DPS to take him out before he one-shots you with Hour of Twilight. Otherwise, you'll be dead. There's no achievement for dying. Well, at least not here. Loot chest. If you're lucky, you might get the Experiment 12B Dragon Mount. Talk to Thrall and get ready to cancel the cinematic. Jump on the ship. Talk to one of the two guys from Point Break to get moving. Now, you better be ranged here, or you'll have a bad time. Kill any dragon before they get close, to keep them from casting the barrage spell. If you see purple circles on the ground, stand in them to soak up the damage. If the ship gets hit at all, you'll fail the achievement. Keep it up until Blackhorn's reeled in. Slay him. Loot! Back off cinematic, seriously. Thank you. Kill three of the four tentacles. Don't kill the corrupted bloods yet. Feel free to kill the hideous amalgamations. Stand in one of the tentacle holes on the left until Deathwing rolls. Make sure you have the debuff to root yourself in place. Once Deathwing has rolled, go right and root yourself again until Deathwing rolls to the right. You need to make him do it four times. That's two lefts and two rights for the achievement, in that order. Once that part of the achievement is complete, you need to start knocking off Deathwing's scales. Kill the lost tentacle to summon another hideous thing. Make sure as you do any of this, you center yourself at the spine and go to left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 right,
Otherwise, you still get thrown off. Now, once you have nine bloods around you, kill them in close proximity to the horrible abomination further up Deathwing's back near the next scale. He will get stacks when you kill the bloods close to him. Once he's at nine stacks, make sure he's near the next scale and kill him. He will then go full Chernobyl and knock the scale loose. Now, sever the tissues holding the scale to Deathwing's back. Make sure to keep your footing. Hack off one of the new exposed tentacles for a new Hans Christian Andersen and repeat the whole process three times to end the event. Skip the cinematic. Loop the chest. Talk to Thrall and jump over to the platform you wish to start. Kill every tentacled hat from this point on. Kill tentacled hat. Jump. Kill tentacled hat. Jump. Ah, you, you know what to do. Once you killed all the hands on all the platforms, Deathwing's fat fucking face drops into the middle so you can slap it around a bit until he's finally dead. To get the achievement, you need to have started the event on each platform at least once. Since there are four platforms and you have to do all the four rounds on one character, this achievement will take at least four weeks to attain. Loot the chain. If you're super lucky, you may get a dragon or two. Or maybe you get the music roll for your gramophone collection. You can click here to see all the music you can collect. If you got all the achievements, congratulations! You're now styling around Azeroth on your Twilight Harbinger. Good night and good luck!